Welcome to the Raw TV review of your Brisbane Roars 2020-2021 A-League campaign. We'll be bringing you all the highs, the lows and memorable moments of the season that was. With 26 rounds packed into six high pressure months, there's plenty to get through and it all began on a fine December evening in Queensland. The season opener at Morton Daly Stadium brought crackling enthusiasm amid a big crowd and a battle with title contenders Melbourne City. New signings Joey Champness and Riku Danzaki went straight into Warren Moon starting 11, with the latter setting up Dylan Wenzel Halls for the first chance. Danzaki, lovely ball through Wenzel Halls, one on one with Tom Glover. Jamie Young was as sharp as ever at the other end. Oh, lovely little ball, Connor Metcalf, big chance, Jamie Young. Though there was little he could do about Connor Metcalf's game breaking goal. This game defensively here, all of Brisbane Raw do, and we do have the opening goal of the season, and it's Connor Metcalf. Adrian Luna's dismissal swung the momentum and the Raw rallied, but a luckless second half ended in opening day frustration. Match week two took Warren Moon's men to Melbourne for a meeting with the victory. Just 16 minutes in and one VAR check later, the Raw had their first goal of the campaign through Scott McDonald. Here for his offside is he Scott McDonald. Brisbane Raw are claiming it and it has been called offside. It did to the eye, Robbie, look like he yeah. was in an offside yeah, position. He knows it. He looks like he's onside. He could well be onside here. Goal given. Callum McManaman equalised in fine style for the hosts, but Macaulay Gillespie's towering header restored the Raw's advantage on the hour. All that remained was for Dylan Wenzel Halls to seal the deal with a sublime solo goal. Wenzel Halls, he had this chance last week, got a neat little touch to try and get rid of Ansel. Wenzel Halls, he finds the back of the net, and perhaps that is three points for Brisbane Raw. Three points, and the Raw were up and running. There were firsts of plenty just over a fortnight later as Jesse Daly and goalkeeper Macklin Freak made their maiden A-League starts away to Newcastle, while Riku Danzaki enjoyed his own milestone moment. Finds Danzaki, opened up for the strike, deflection, loops in, and Riku Danzaki has his first A-League goal. Valentino Yule curbed the celebrations, but only until the second half. Wenzel Hall's firing in his second goal in as many games to earn Brisbane another priceless three points away from home. Dylan Wenzel Hall scoring goals at the start of this season and Brisbane reclaim the lead. With two wins from two and a 10 day break under their belts, the Raw were fresh, in form and fired up for a match week six date with Adelaide United. It was all set up for an onslaught. Does well to keep it in and that's a lovely header and the opening goal they deserve Brisbane Raw and it's Dylan Wenzel Halls yet again. O'Shea will have a crack from the top of the box and oh, puts a top corner and does double that lead for Brisbane Raw. 23 on 23, Elsie cuts in again. Can he get the curl this time? Oh, it's a horrible mistake, unfortunately. The Reds were no match for a rampant roar who made it three on the trot with a convincing 3-1 win, setting up an even bigger home match. Warren Moon setting the scene there for an epic afternoon in glorious summer sunshine. Audra lovely little touch through there from Dan Zaki and Wenzel Halls. He can't stop scoring, Dylan Wenzel Halls. He's seen it, has harnessed it. Here's Scott McDonald. Oh, what a goal. His runner is just coming forward, free into space. Brown's cross is awkward, very awkward. It's extremely awkward. Riku Danzaki's got a goal. It's three for the Raw. Traore, rare foray forward. And they got one back all of a sudden. Corner's a good one. Again, it's a free header and it's a fourth and it's a double to Scott McDonald. Five-man wall with a couple of extras either side. Here's Jake Brimmer. Too easy. Too easy. An insane six-goal first half in Redcliffe had the supporters wanting more against visiting Melbourne victory, and the Brisbane boys were happy to oblige. Donald and Gillespie continues. Just invitation to stroll through. Back post, another goal. Danzaki with a double. Two wins from two against the victory and four straight in the A-League catapulted Brisbane into a lofty position on the ladder with 12 points from a possible 18. 
MacArthur were up next at Morton Daly Stadium and the competition newcomers looked like they had a point to prove. And a good save from Jamie Young. Wenzel Halls went within inches of a six goal in five games. And Wenzel Halls is going to meet this and he's going to go first time, hits the post. But a pair of late sucker punches from Dennis John Rowe and Matt Derbyshire ultimately secured the result for MacArthur, ending the Raw's run of wins at four. The visit of the Newcastle Jets in match week eight saw the return of Jack Hingott and Jesse Daly to the starting 11, and Daly looked to have helped create the breakthrough for Brisbane. But Katrumbus ran it well. Great win by Daly. Jay O'Shea for Danzaki. Oh, he slid it past Jack Duncan. But an offside flag and the repeated interventions of Jets goalkeeper Jack Duncan meant the spoils were shared at the end of a goalless draw. Another tough assignment in match week nine as the Raw travelled to Jubilee Stadium for a clash with old rivals and reigning champions, Sydney FC. Jamie Young was in the thick of the action early. Here's Neuenhoff again. Deflection there might help out Sydney FC. What a collision. Jamie Young and McGowan, so brave the pair of them. While Macaulay Gillespie and Wenzel Halls both went close for Brisbane. Gillespie stepped up to provide an option for him. Capable of hitting them! And Redmayne had to tip it over. Nikovic again caught in possession. And Brisbane win it up. High up the pitch for Wenzel Halls! Side netting. In the end, a combination of Young's outstanding saves and the woodwork ensured the Raw recorded a second consecutive clean sheet and a well-earned point. One of the form teams of the competition, Perth Glory, had enjoyed a flying start to the season, scoring 15 times over the course of their first five games. Diego Castro got the glory going early, but then some Brisbane brilliance. Brown again, can they finish it all off? Jack Hingott's header, what an equaliser! Jack Hingott's third A-League goal, cancelling out Castro's opener on the stroke of half-time. New signing goal goal Mabratu looked threatening after the interval, but two further Perth goals consigned the Raw to a tough result on the road. Oh, brilliant goal from Perth! Been surely for Castro! They have three! Last week was a great test for us. We went to Perth, we played well. You know, in my opinion, we played well. The boys performed and that game was turned on its head with a couple of uh, Moments defined by some very good players, uh, but on the whole the performance is good and uh, while the performance is there and the chances are being created, I still believe that uh, we're in every game and we're a chance to win every game we play. And so it was back up to Brisbane for the first match of March and another game against Sydney FC. And Barbarousas is in here, if Jamie Young's not quick enough, Barbarousas turns, twists, doesn't quite nutmeg Tom Hall. Tom Aldred was clearly up for the contest, and so too was Dylan Wenzel Halls, his sixth goal of the season giving the Raw an early advantage. And oh, it's gone straight for Andrew Redmayne. It's a horror show for the Sydney goalkeeper. Jamie Young did his best to protect the lead. He'll have a pop this time, and it had Jamie Young extremely interested, and now extremely annoyed. But eventually the visitors did find a way through as Bobo's header forced a one-all draw. In your pocket, and here's Bobo all of a sudden. The Raw's luckless run continued in match 12 with an inform Ryan Scott. Halls peels wide. Ganzaki used him. Takes on the strike. Oh, what a save from Ryan Scott. It took an initial deflection. And a diving Dylan Pieris were enough for Western United to snatch a 1 0 win. Whipped into a dangerous spot. Late run. What a header! So brave! Brisbane's resolve and resilience were being tested by the time they travelled to Newcastle with a match week 13 fixture against Wellington Phoenix. In wet and windy conditions, the task only became tougher after Tom Ahmed's first half opener. Ahmed yeah! finds the back of the net. Warren Moon threw on Riku Danzaki and Joey Champness, but it was another substitute who conjured the well-earned equaliser. Can't get there in front of Brown, who won the ball. Soterio stays down, crosses in. They're lining up and they've got the equaliser with his first touch. Goal, goal, Mabratu. Deserved reward for effort and ambition and a crucial point in the competition. For us, that was uh, another little step in terms of the character and resilience of the team. Um, and we've come off, like I said, yes, we wanted to win, but we'll take the positives from that result and how we finished and we'll take heart from that. Macaulay Gillespie's late dismissal against Wellington and the absence of captain Tom Aldred meant there was a reshuffle at the back for the visit of Western Sydney, as Jordan Courtney Perkins and Josh Brindle South both came into the side. 
The Wanderers took advantage of the unsettled defence with former Raw man Kwame Yaboa on target early. And teeing it up for Yaboa, who returns to Brisbane and scores the opening goal. Joey Champness had also come into the starting 11 and in the second half, it was the winger who ran the show. Joey Champness! Tidy win from Courtney Perkins and here he goes again. He's leaving defenders for dead tonight, Joey Champness, getting away from Bacchus, still going Champness, teeing up Danzaki, and Brisbane equalise! Riku Danzaki makes it 1-1. Mabratu so nearly completed the comeback, but with chances spurned at both ends, it was another draw for the Raw. Keeps it out. And where would Western Sydney be without their 23-year-old shot stopper? Well, they'd be down 2-1 right now. On then to Friday night football in Campbelltown and a rematch with MacArthur. The Raw was seeking revenge for the loss suffered earlier in the season, and that's exactly what they got. Really solid looking back three for Brisbane tonight. Here's Wenzel Halls. And the shot sneaks its way in at the near post. And Dylan Wenzel Halls, back in the starting lineup, makes a statement. Hey, you're back. Milligan. Right through the middle. Mark Milligan tipped over by Jamie Young. Overload. Right hand side. Scott Neville venturing forward. Brindle South honours that run. Across the face, tap in for Danzaki, and Brisbane do double their money. It's his fifth goal of the season. The returning Scott Neville setting up Riku Danzaki for the sealer, as Lachlan Rose's late consolation did little to dampen the excitement over Brisbane's first win in nine games. Another trip to New South Wales followed in match week 17 with Western Sydney in the crosshairs on this occasion. Wendell Halls, great save, Margush. Brindle South picks up the scraps. What a moment! Brindle South opening his A-League account and setting alight a seesawing contest that led to Bruce Kamau putting Western Sydney back on level terms. Oh, and it's 1-1! One, one. Wenzel Halls fired a warning shot back in the other direction before O'Shea tried his luck with an unbelievable effort. O'Shea can go for goal here, Mark Usher, long way out! The Raw were knocking on the door. Joey Champness unlocked it. He thought about coming Margush and Danzaki's in the... Oh, what a ball! Brilliant! Joey Champness! Magnificent! Jamie Young's trio of second-half saves helped preserve the points in a precious 2-1 win at Bankwest Stadium. Warren Moon is finally getting the results. He felt like his team had in them. Up next, the Mariners and a performance to make the competition sit up and take notice. Gillespie. It's Gillespie. Champness. South goes himself, Joey Champness. Parsons. Parsons. And Kudo. All on the score sheet in a sublime Match Week 18 showing from Brisbane. Their biggest win of the season at that point, coming against the side, sitting second on the ladder. No time to celebrate though, because Moon's men would return to action just three days later. A mad schedule which featured five games in a fortnight. It was to be an arm wrestle of a contest with Wellington, played yet again in wet conditions. Perhaps no surprises that the tricky circumstances produced a stalemate. And the second attempt almost got a third, and Kai Truen has somehow kept it out. A match week 20 encounter with Western United was to be an altogether more dramatic affair. South maintaining the width. Danzaki finding the feet of Wenzel Halls and the shot brought out the best in Scott. Brisbane rained shots down on Ryan Scott over the course of the opening hour, yet somehow it was the away side who took the lead. Seen him, he can play him in. And Lockie Wales off the bench takes less than 30 seconds to open the scoring. The Raw deserved a slice of good fortune, and it was Alex Parsons who helped make that happen. Yeah, the angle, and now Parsons, the strike. Brindle South, tap in. 1-1 in Brisbane, and Alex Parsons has an immediate impact as well. A remarkable goal mouth scramble at one end, and a disallowed Wenzel Hall's goal at the other seems certain to create a draw. Enter Riku Danzaki. Brown, clever ball. Danzaki! Oh, what a way to win it! In the final minute! The new fan favourite earning himself hero status amongst the Raw faithful with a goal that made it four wins in five outings. Danzaki's late show also elevated his side back into the top six with less than 10 games to go in the regular season.
Brisbane were running on adrenaline by the time they touched down in Victoria for a blockbuster battle with the imperious Melbourne City. Heavy legs appeared evident across a chaotic opening 20 minutes. So far, but here comes Metcalf. Oh, what a finish! Down off the hand of Noon, it appeared. Play on for now. Scott Jamison, it deflects in surely for number two. But Brisbane had proved their ability in adversity before and soon fought their way back into the match. Riding through a challenge and sneaks it home. Joey Chambers has got X Factor. And O'Shea takes just about every set piece for Brisbane. Delivers deep and the header, it's back to 2-2. This is quite remarkable, the resilience of the Brisbane Raw. The Raw would have completed the stunning recovery if not for a sharp Tom Glover save and the lost opportunity proved to be a pivotal moment. Scott Galloway looking the most likely. It's a brilliant run from the right back. So many bodies in the road, he did it all himself. Scott Galloway with a sumptuous ball. City just too strong, but some encouraging signs for the Queenslanders. It was almost winter by the time the Mariners made their way up to Morton Daly Stadium, and yet the traditional summer season storms continued to play their part in Brisbane. At either end of the field. What a touch from Champness. Oh, the cutback, delightful, and Wenzel Hall's on the follow-up. Is Champness onside or off? The flag is up to deny him the open. Champness did his best to cope with the slippery conditions, hitting the bar with a brilliant effort in the 75th minute. And here come the roar. What a left boot he has. Parsons to Champness. Opening up the angle and crossbar denies him. Oliver Bazanek would do the same late in proceedings as the two sides settled for a point apiece. Bazanek looping it. Jamie Young in trouble. The crossbar has been hit at both ends now. Adelaide away came next as the fixtures continued to pile up, this time pitting the Roar against one of their direct rivals for a final series spot. Alex Parsons and young striker Cyrus Demi both came in for their first A-League starts, giving some established stars a brief chance to rest. It might work out for Goodwin and bottom corner picked out and Craig Goodwin is back to his... Adelaide winger Craig Goodwin struck first from a narrow angle and it was to prove the only goal of the game as the Raw were left to rue a saved penalty from Joey Champness. Here's the booze and Delianov responds to the prompting of his fans. Determined to bounce back, Brisbane headed to Newcastle on a mission in match week 22. Wenzel Halls was unlucky not to be credited with the opener. Good looking ball in, and the header is in the back of the net, but the flag is up to deny Wenzel Halls a drought breaker. But it wouldn't take long for the Raw to find the breakthrough. Parsons places it in the bottom corner, courtesy of a deflection, and Brisbane lead now. An unfortunate own goal granted the Jets a path back into the game, or so they thought. Variation time. O'Shea, deflection, and Brisbane have the lead back. Yes! Jay O'Shea will claim this one. Job done in Newcastle, a ninth win of the campaign. With the final series drawing closer, Melbourne City had already wrapped up the first silverware of the season, sealing the Premier's plate with multiple games to spare. The Raw offered a guard of honour for their appearance at Morton Daly Stadium in late May, but were far less accommodating once the action got underway. Ready to take the spot kick once it's approved, and it has been, against young Sutton on his debut, and Jay O'Shea with pinpoint precision. Brisbane playing their way out, and there'll be space as a result. Parsons around Gamulka. Kept it alive as well for Daly, who pushed into space cleverly in the wide area. Parsons wanted it back. What a burst. And squeezes it home. The Alex Parsons project has been a pleasure to watch throughout this season. Goals from Jay O'Shea and the fast emerging Parsons gave Brisbane a commanding two-goal lead going into the break. And it only got better from there. A double for O'Shea, three points for the Raw and one monumental step taken towards a top six berth on a fantastic night of football. From an opponent that had sealed the top spot to one that was fighting desperately to save their season. The Raw found the going tougher against Western Sydney in match week 23. To Abini, oh what a goal that is! The Wanderers seized the initiative through Bernie Abini and somehow emerged unscathed from a succession of Brisbane chances. Oh, Tansaki passed it back to where it came from. 
Bruce Kamau eventually sealed the deal for Western Sydney, leaving our boys with work still to do to secure finals football. Ball over to Bruce Kamau. He's got Jordan Much, Freezer Bird at the fast stick. Kamau to seal it. Bruce Kamau. What a season he's having. Hey, look, difficult, difficult night. We, uh, we had good intentions to go there, put on the performance and uh, get the result, or a result. Uh, it didn't work out that way and uh, you know we're all disappointed but we have to quickly put that behind us you know because there's lots to play for and, and, and no bigger game for us this season than tomorrow night. High drama beckoned for the beginning of June with results elsewhere meaning Brisbane could book their final series spot with a win over Perth. From Danzaki, went back to O'Shea instead and it deflected kindly here for Wenzel Halls. Jay O'Shea encouraged to shoot. Jay O'Shea sensed the opportunity as he went looking for the early goal. And it was the Irishman's perfect pass for Josh Brindle South, which led to the all-important breakthrough. A big blow for the glory. A vocal Morton Daly Stadium crowd roared into life, and they were on their feet when Riku Danzaki produced a moment of magic. This is Danzaki, who's clear of Latchman. He comes again, the big Dutch defender. Danzaki this way and that to make it two. Perth did pull one back, but it was too little, too late for the visitors. Brisbane were on their way to the final series. Yeah, I'm very proud. I'm very proud of what the club's achieved. Not, not just myself, because I'm just one, one cog in the chain. It's, it's all of us. It's uh, from the top down to the staff to the people behind. I mean, we weren't really given much of a chance of making finals. You know, let's be honest. Uh, and I've said this all along. Internally, we believed. Um, and I believed in the squad we had and the talent we had coming through and what they could do. Um, but it's one thing believing, it's another thing going to do it. And, and tonight's great validation for the whole group that we've, we've achieved something. That magnificent victory set up a showpiece conclusion to the regular season against Sydney FC. Raw supporters turned out in numbers at a sun-drenched Morton Daly Stadium to see their side warm up for the final series. But it was the visitors who started fastest. Kept on by Neville. Costa Barbarossa straight at Young, straight through him. And Sydney FC. Wenzel Halls drew a sharp save from Hewitt Bell in response, while Alex Parsons almost had the fans on their feet. Parsons, lovely turn on Bratton. Oh. The chances continued to pile up as Brisbane searched for a deserved equaliser. But with the last kick of the game, Sydney sealed a smash and grab result. Cuts under the ball, brings in van der Sark, who will have a go. A frustrating end to a highly promising performance, with Brisbane's attention turning to their first home elimination final in four years. The defeat meant Warren Moon's side finished the regular season in fourth, with a very respectable 40 points. One more than their next opponent, Adelaide United. And so it was back to a buzzing Morton Daly Stadium for an all or nothing rematch with the Reds. Brisbane welcomed back some defensive reinforcements, but as the opening 19 minutes showed, Adelaide came armed with attacking firepower. Urich again picked out here. Big chance, Tommy Urich! And... Chance has had it taken away by Kitto. Through the legs, Tommy Urich is around Aldred, who looks off the pace today. Big chance for a second here, Tommy Urich! Tommy Urich's quick-fire double left the Raw with a mountain to climb. Fitting then that it was Brisbane's breakout young star who started the recovery mission. Dropped it into a great spot on the header. Across the face and in. Brilliant. Brisbane pull one back. With his third A-League goal, 21-year-old Alex Parsons set up a nail-biting, agonising finale. Irishman finding the young Aussie. Given Wenzel Halls, the boy from Ipswich. Overlapping run. Scott Neville, where does he find the energy reserves? Big chance, Danzaki! Almost scrambling at home. Brisbane tried and fought and battled to bring the game back to parity, but in the end, it wasn't quite enough to stave off heartbreak. A roller coaster conclusion to a thrilling campaign, with the Raw recording a final series appearance for the 10th time in 11 seasons. Unbeaten streaks, unforgettable victories, and the emergence of exciting youngsters has provided immense optimism for the next chapter in the Brisbane Raw story, the 2021 22 season. Until then, thanks for watching.